Clyde Butcher's black and white photographs explores personal relationship with the environment. For more than 40 years, he has been preserving on film the untouched areas of landscape. In this four-part miniseries, Clyde talks about what led him to shoot black and white photography and how his career path led him from California to Florida and into the conservation movement. I first started out and didn't realize it had to do with the dark. <laughs> So I got that figured out, and the shutter was turning the lights on and off. So this is a model. From floor to ceiling is six inches. Uh, this is Nikki and I. Um, this is a little piece of pottery about this big. So what I was trying to do is actually sh give a feeling of a built project. So. Uh, the, theoretically, the client could understand what it was all about. This is the auditorium behind the entryway. This is my sweater. <laughs> and I went around the college collecting toilet. You know, the little things in the toilet there? You know, these seats have the little toilet paper things. And then I got a little bit more sophisticated after I got out of school and uh, started doing it in color for architects and for other people. Now this was a, this is in Palo Alto. You know Palo Alto. They didn't want any high rises. These four guys in the center here were the city councilmen. They were so fascinated, they were in this project that wasn't built, that they passed the project. <laughs> this bench is three inches long. These are little handmade trees with uh, foam rubber sprinkled with hairspray. And uh, floors where I made the trunks. In 1961, I was dating my, my wife, Nikki, and they went to Yosemite a lot. So I saw Ansel Adams work there in 1961. I could have bought a 16 by 20 Moonrise over Hernandez for 75 bucks. <laughs> you, anybody got one? Want to sell me for that? Raise you your hand. Uh, but I had to do photographs that would sell. Now, this was the period of Jonathan Livingston Siegel. That was my hot seller. But I was experimenting with different uh, ideas and techniques. I was kind of emulating uh, Ansel Adams, uh, Wynne Bullock, and uh, Edward Weston, trying to come up with an idea of what to photograph. I mean, back then, what did you photograph? Uh, about 1972, I, I quit architecture in 69 to do art full time. By about 1972, it wasn't working too good. So if I did color, I could match your carpet, oh, your gold couch. You know. So I started experimenting in color. Uh, actually, the center one was a homemade camera. Uh, I'm always into making homemade cameras. 